you got over the prejudice about five of five thousand. Did you get cocky? Did you find you were pushing it further than it should have, or, or did you compensate with, with lights? No, no. I, um, uh, no, there was never a situation where I thought I was really pushing it at all. Um, even when we went to minimal light, we had some. Uh, I was trying to get the background to work at night. No, no, it. it um, I mean, yeah, no, it it behaved incredibly well right through the whole shoot. Did you get any footage of screen grabs to show? Any which? Footage, footage of screen grabs from Ali's wedding? No, no. Uh, uh, yeah, at this. Uh, be p very politically wrong for me to do that uh, at this stage. Uh, they're, they're trying to keep it all very quiet. Um, uh, it, it, it's a very interesting film, a wonderful film uh, about a, a, every e everyone in it is is, is Muslim. Uh, a whole whole uh, group down in Melbourne. Um, they were all cast as as actors, but. Um, and it's 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 just about uh, if you've seen uh, they're a weird mob. Do you remember that? Well, it's it's a bit like they're a weird weird mob, but they're Muslims. Uh, and I I couldn't have worked with a more energetic, cooperative group uh, who were just really fantastic. And uh, of course, it was a personally a great. Uh, education for me because I've, I've never been involved with uh, uh, a, a community of, of, of that faith uh, it just you know, by accident of geography and um, it, it was just just really amazing to see uh, see how much uh, the ch church was far far more a community center than a place of worship and uh, that, that was a big eye-opener to me what about, what about um, lenses? Lenses? Yeah, yeah we used them. <laughs> uh, we, we, we used uh, Primo's, very Panavise, very camped. And uh, the, um, um, this, this is an interesting world we're into now. And once again, manufacturers probably don't want to hear this, but uh, all computers now design, oh, sorry, all lenses are designed by computers. And they all seem to be using almost the same equations, uh, because lenses now I find um, all brilliant. I mean, with the more recent ones, the ones that have been designed by computers, are, are, are fantastic. And once again, brands are almost interchangeable. The quality is is so so fantastic, right through all the all the name brands. Uh, you know, in, in the the olden days, when I first started, the brands had quite peculiarities, different peculiarities because they were the development of some particular man with a particular bent trying to get a particular quality into a, a, a lens, right? The last you know, 25 years, it's progressively, the computer has just come in and said, this is the best lens you can make with the gear you've got and make it. And, uh, they're all, they're all getting, the lenses are just getting better and better and better and better. Miss the peculiarities? Pardon? You miss the peculiarities? No, 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 no. Because you can, you can most times with a good timer get some of that back, you know, which, and um, the peculiarity, I mean, the worst peculiarity was lack of resolution. Yeah, and, uh, uh, you can always lose resolution once again in in uh, in timing if you want to in this day and age. Uh, and um, but it's always best to start off with the start high. You can go low. But you can't. <laughs> it's hard to climb. Yeah. At five thousand ASA, it's very very close to what you would call normal room lighting, and that has two effects. One is that it, the actors don't feel so much that they're in a, a, a bright, overlit, unreal situation. 
and their pupils, their eyes look far more realistic than when you're hitting them with, uh, you know, arcs at six feet. Any? Yeah. Sorry, ladies first. Oh, I can't do that anymore. I've got to talk to you. <laughs> It's being, really, it's being premiered at the Adelaide Film Festival because they were investors in it uh, in October, I think, or August or October. Yeah. August, August, yeah. Yeah, yes, sir. Have you found that um, the technology has allowed you to um, tell the director's story more efficiently? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's... it's um, The speed with which you can work, you know, is is as if you have to. I mean, this, we we, we uh, the, right there. If I if I'm doing a, if I'm doing a film that you know is is in the 30, 40 million, uh, you know, you 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 would still use the same time honoured processes because that probably achieves the the ultimate. But as the budgets come down, the more time, like something on Ali's wedding, the more time I can give to the director in a day, the better the film's going to be. And that, that's that, that, it's a rule I've, even on the big budget things, the more time I can feed towards the director and the performance, that's really what it's all about, the film's going to be better. And of course, the 5,000 is part, uh, is, is quicker. It's, it's quicker to bring in all that low lighting stuff and rearrange it and set it up uh, than, than the, the old, old system. Do you think you've, um, over the past uh, 10 years in the digital world, you've, you've seen that you've been able to give the director more time? The di uh, at 800 a ASA, as opposed to f uh, 500 ASA, which is where we left film, wasn't it? You know, we had 800, it was a bit grainy. But uh, at 500 ASA, as marginal, you know, less than half a stop. So there wasn't much change it, at that, with that transition. Uh, the, the thing, of course, that we have, uh, have got now is sleep. Uh, if, when you go back to the film days, uh, you, you, you did your 12-hour day and then you, you'd spent about two, sometimes three hours, two to get to dailies and see them and an hour discussion after that. There's no more dailies anymore. <laughs> it's all gone. Uh, you, know, you see it on the set, finish, uh, walk away, uh, utterly, utterly see it again at timing. It's, 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 it's reduced the the workload on everyone, uh, amazingly, in that regard. Yes? Would you say that if you had the budget for the next film where you could have your speed at the set or whatever you need and the lighting budget that you need, would you then still approach interiors at 800? No, no, I'd, I'd, I'd probably, it, it would be horses for courses, but it would probably be, I, I would go for the uh, 5,000, mainly because of this really naturalistic feel you get on set. It really is, it's quite, quite interesting, you know, that, that you, can, you can just bring that whole thing down to a, you know, the people feel there, in, in, in a, and I think that's important. I don't think it's a major issue, but it, it's, it's an important one. You know, it, no, there's, there's no point in, uh, you know, uh, as, <clears throat> As when they, I mean, they, I can remember when, when I first came into the business. Uh, I think uh, 100 ASA was colour, and uh, you know that's uh, as 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 that thing. We we still maintain the same sort of um, lighting level, but we, we we got faster as the film got faster. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just, okay. Your opening statement was that like the very cam is currently your camera. Yeah. Okay, okay. So just to get it clear in my mind, you've got a great script. 
multiple locations, interior, exterior, day, night. And I, you've got a Red, an Alexa, and a Vericam 35 sitting in front of you. Yep. You're going to grab the Vericam based on my understanding of what you've said. And yep. Quick bullet point. Is it primarily the 5000 ASA or are there other things that say that's why I'm taking the Vericam? Uh, I'm trying to be politic, but I can't. Uh, uh, yeah, I regard, I regard the three of them equal, but not equal. Uh, in actual fact, if they were all still at 800, I'd probably have moved from my judgment on red towards the Alexa, right? Uh, but that was that was the impression I got. But that would be a whole new series of tests because I wasn't testing that. It was just something that was cropping up occasionally. We'd say, oh, yeah, that's, you know, okay, yeah. But we, we just saw little things that, that impressed us with the Alexa and probably more than we saw impressed us with the red. Um, but, yeah, no, the 5,000 is, is it, it's, it's the whole switch. It's, it's the switch. It's the switch. Would that 5,000 be sort of like a, like a, a clearer than if you go in between, let's say 2,500 or 3,200? I've been in too many explosions. Would somebody translate? He wants to know if uh, gaining up from 800 to get to 3,200 is going to be cleaner than shooting at your native 5,000. No. Oh, never. 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 It's, I mean, it's like it's sh anything, any, any of these cameras, all of them, if you wind them up, stop by stop to 32 they're crap they are real you know it's grainy grainy crap and you as i said you couldn't you certainly couldn't use it as a as a normal scene in a movie not any of them uh in my opinion uh, it's just this one clicks at the at the uh, the new natural what they call natural uh natural 5000 and and it and it works I mean, I'm not, you know, as I, I keep saying, I've, if, if, if somebody, a new company comes out tomorrow with something that, you know, got 8,000, I'll, I'll have a look at that in the next movie. And if, if, it's, if it's better or, you know, still the result's better than this camera, I'm going to take it out. I mean, that's, that's, that's the way it is. It's, uh, I would love to shoot a film raw with this this thing. Um, of course, what we're, we 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 through Sasha have got involved with the projection side, and man, is that a mess at the moment? Uh, when you come to uh, start to t discuss uh, 2K and 4K in the cinemas, because um, we're all being duped in. Uh, in, in, in a great way, apparently. Um, uh, Sasha, can you explain that in a very quick? Um, well, we're doing, uh, we're just looking at 4K and two, t 2K raw and non-raw. We looked at the difference with, um, with, Pan with Panavision and with Deluxe, looking at raw and non-raw with the Vericam and the Alexa, um, which was, very interesting. The, this was all shown on the codec, um, the AVC codec 444. Yep. Um, so the question was whether raw, what would raw give us? Um, the the raw with the Vericam really punched out as something quite special. Um, but we, we, we're talking, there's a lot of uh, confusion with 2K and 4K. We looked at stuff and we were expecting to see this wow factor of 4K above 2K. We couldn't pick it. I couldn't pick it with my face against the screen. But it's <laughs> it's 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 um, it it sort of um, I think a lot of people would run out of the cinema saying, "Well, that's it. There's no point in 4K." But I I think it's asked more questions than it's answered yeah. and. Um, we, we never got to the bottom of that, why 2K and 4K didn't, uh, in the cinemas, looked, uh, looked uh, very, very similar. Yeah. Yep. Yes, sir. Yep.
Well, f f first of all, you wouldn't be forced to do it because you could switch back to your 800, right? I mean, so that, that would be my first answer. But if, if, you, if you had to do it, you've, I mean, it, it's all proportional. You just got to, you just got to move, keep stepping down. You know, it'll, it'll work. Oh yeah, it, it, I mean, the, 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 the 14 stops, the range is still there. And if you're dealing with that same range, or you're just dealing it a little bit down the line. A lot down the line. Yes, sir. Yep. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I was a documentary shooter that long ago that uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, and it, it, they were some of the greatest years of my life, I must admit. I uh, probably had more fun then than, uh, at, at, at a personal level, but uh, uh, no, it's, it, I'm not qualified to answer that question. Can I try and answer? Yeah, yeah. Um, last. <laughs> Uh, we're doing one of one of my projects. We're doing a, a documentary with um, with Mardi Gras, and we had three of the cameras. We had one LT and two 35s at Mardi Gras on um, uh, last Saturday, and it's a it's a r real wrestle with the 35s. But the LT, it's it's manageable, and we're looking at conti and it looks fantastic, um, as you can imagine, with the color space of the Panasonic sensor and the 5000 ISO and the camera's built for that so it was um, like I said the the 35s it's a real it's it's hard work but the LT it's it's manageable it's um, yeah it's it's yeah and it looks amazing yeah yeah and a 30 grand is a snap <laughs> <laughs> yes Don, would you feel comfortable shooting whole picture at 5000 ISO just throwing in these in it um, if they paid me double, no, um, <laughs> I, 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 there would be no logic to it. I, I mean, there'd be no, you know, I, whenever, whenever, you know, whenever 800 gave me 284, which is sort of my working stop, if you want to think, uh, uh, I'd use it, you know, uh, so, uh, but, uh, but if in, within that situation, as I keep saying, I, I, would, um, I would take a, s some angles within that sequence, I would shoot at 5,000 for, for depth generally in that situation, not lighting. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. I, I hope I got an answer. Compare it to Canon C300. Mark two low light. Yes. Have you been able to compare the very cam to the C three hundred Mark two, which is? Uh... No, no, I haven't. No, that hasn't come up yet. Um, you know, it, 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 terrible thing to say, but at a professional level, um, you know. Um, well, to be honest, at a professional level, if I hadn't had the standing I've got as a cinematographer, there, I would have got uh, resistance, I know, of using a camera away from the, the Arri Red uh, thing, you know, because they're not, not familiar with it. So it, it's, it's, there's the, I'm sure there's a lot of unsung heroes out there. Uh, but at, at the moment, uh, feature films uh, seem to be... Uh, Within that, the family of the three or four um, manufacturers, and um, yeah, and of course, if you you see how many of the uh, uh, Academy films were shot f on film this uh, this year, still, still, how many? No, there were about twelve. We're talking about all all the different awards, all the different awards, right, you know, acting, you know, special effects or something, whatever, not that, but uh, yeah, for, for, within all categories there are about 12 films shot, still shot on film in the Academy Awards this year. I honestly don't know why, but I don't have to. Good, okay.
Thank you. Sit down, get out of the way. Thank you to Dr. Don McAlpine. And uh, Rob, I believe, has a few more words. Um, Don, thank you for that. Um, yeah, um, it was, I, I had the privilege of, of spending three days on set with Don. And to see the man work at the pace he did, it was, it was absolutely extraordinary. Um, just the energy was, and, and, and the respect he commanded on set was, was absolutely brilliant. So, um, Don, thank you for yeah, the insight tonight and thank you for being a, a part of the, um, the very cam journey. We hope you enjoyed tonight's presentation. A big, big thank you to both uh, Rob Meyer from Melbourne, Matt Alexander from Sydney, and Don McAlpine from McMaster's Beach. Yeah.